This is a town I built where the population are my subscribers and each one is powered by AI. And what I have that big channels don't is not many subscribers. So every single public subscriber I have is going to be included in this simulation. And any comments made are going to be used to fine tune their relative avatar. The only problem is that it is not very intelligent yet. It can go through walls, it can't make choices, it can't talk, it can't think, and just going in a straight line to my mouse clicks right now. First, I wrote a pathfinding algorithm where clean code is not existent and even I have no idea what's going on. It works pretty well, but occasionally they are going to float over walls. But for the AI to actually think and make choices, we need to encode the whole world in text to essentially pass it through a model like ChatGPT. So now you can see a component I made that takes a distance and actually lists the whole objects inside this distance in plain text. Then we can ask the AI what he wants to do with the list, like go to an object. For simplicity's sake, I'm only going to leave this option for now. And let's see if the AI can complete my sentence. I am the best AI and I will prove it. Okay, it works, so let's do a full test and let's see. Okay, he wants to go to the barrel and it's going there. And the way we are determining which option the AI actually selected from its completion is with the embedding search. I have a full video on this topic and you can see the card right now in the corner. Next, I added the option to talk. Firstly, just two objects and we're gonna add the option to talk to each other, like when we have multiple players, in a minute. Okay, it looks like he's going to say something about the pot. This pot is not really bad. So what? Okay, let's try another example. Okay, it seems to be working with objects. I think we should move on to make them talk to each other. Okay, first test, let's see. This doesn't look right. Okay, check the code and I actually think it's not a bug. It's actually what the AI choose to say, which is nothing in this case. But let's just run it again, same code, and see what happens. I accidentally didn't record the last one, but it was super funny. One of them tried to convince the other one to stop smoking, but okay, let's see, the, let's see this one. Okay, first I start to work as a programmer, one of the tasks will take over the maintenance of existing C++, okay. So they are just going to nerd out and the messages are way too long in this conversation. But I think it's a good enough proof of concept so we can move on and actually import some subscribers um, and have funny conversations. So here I have a list of all my public subscribers, which I imported through a special interface. And this is like the comments of the subscribers. Um, well, it's only free, but every single one of them is gonna get used to fine tune the model of the subscriber. So if you commented on the video, uh, I'm gonna use the comment to actually like m make your AI behave in the same way as you. Now the only missing part is giving each one a unique face. Um, a quick tip is to use Dicebear, which is this service, to create yourself like an API to create random faces. And you can like customize the style and everything. It's not an ad, it's just an API that I really, really like. And I actually used it like in production code with huge amount of users. It works great. Okay, let's see what the community wants to do. Go to create. 
go to Pillar Broken, talk to Tree, road sign, give up. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the compilations are creative. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward the few minutes because no conversation happened this time. Okay, it seems like Lorin00 has a lot of friends in the US Embassy. <laughs> yeah, Tam just rejected the conversation. It seems like there is another conversation happening in the same area, so let's zoom in a bit and see what's going on. So apparently Alex wrote a book and Rudolf is very interested in it. Alex, if you watch this video, just confirm it below. This stone cube is a stone cube. For some reason the AI is super introverted and they much prefer talking to things rather than each other. So we need to fast forward so much between conversations. Okay, at this point I think I'll just stop talking for a few seconds and just let you guys enjoy <laughs> those conversations. Going over all the subscriber lists took almost an hour, so obviously we can't go over all of the conversations, but I have a link in the description to a page where you can read pretty much all the conversations that happened, and you can search for your name and see who you interacted with and how. As a final experiment to make the conversations a bit less generic, I want to see what would happen if we'll just, like, implant a very distant memory in all of the subscribers that they need to convince everybody that space travel is the most important thing. Um, I want to see if it would influence the conversations in any way and if they're gonna say some smart stuff. This barrel is uh, age 61, has a job as lecturer at the university. Okay, there is some conversation forming, and it definitely seems like they do remember the space memory I wrote. I love how outsiders just come to the conversation and say random shit, like, this stone lantern is a good person, but stone lantern has a problem with stone lantern family. Help him by give him advice. I was planning on giving them an option to actually destroy and build stuff in the city so they can like edit the city and expand it. Um, but this project is already taking way too long. So I have a promise that every new comment on this video is going to go to a very very special simulation when we get to 10,000 subscribers. I know it's a long way there, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. Um, comment some interesting stuff. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like it, just comment. The comments are my metric, just write something. I want to feel like I'm interacting with people. And if you want to see a really interesting video about how I simulated a forest with evolution, you can click on this video and you can subscribe if you like what I do and want to see what I will make in the future. It's only gonna get better. <laughs>